welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation 101. This course is designed and brought to you by Fourth Wheel Social Impact, a research and advisory firm focusing on social impact management, capacity building of development professionals, and communication for development. My name is Sharon Weir, and I'm the co-founder of Fourth Wheel Social Impact and will be the lead trainer for this program. This program, to give you an overview, is power-packed with 12 modules covering basics of designing and implementing a monitoring, evaluation and learning system within your organizations. Each module comprises of videos, practical exercises, templates and tools to ensure the theory and concepts you learn can actually translate into application. At the end of the course, learners will be able to recognize complexities in social systems and actually translating uh, programs into impact. Uh, they will be able to develop strategic solutions and results-based frameworks to ensure that m &E systems and processes um, are able to lead to higher social return on investments. This course is designed for beginner to intermediate level development practitioners and helps uh, to really strengthen uh, the m &E functions of your organization and tackle challenges relating to social impact management. Uh, to give an overview of the modules that we will be covering, we will begin our uh, conversations on actually the challenges we face while implementing uh, development programs or investing in very complex social systems, which will really lead us to identifying the need for a results-based management system and will help us understand the concept of social impact management and why it is integral to all the work that we do in the development sector. Uh, this conversation will then lead into identifying uh, why a theory of change is essential before starting off or uh, starting off with um, a development intervention. And the learners will really uh, will be able to use specific steps to develop theories of change for their programs and organizations. Once we um, look through the concept of theory of change and um, how to operationalize it into our m &E systems, we will then look at the different evaluation designs that one could choose from based on the budget, timelines, audience needs, etc. Uh, the crux is also about asking the right questions. Shall we ask process questions? Should they be outcome questions? which will help us identify the right indicators to track over our program life cycle. Once indicators are, um, are clearer and how to kind of get the right smart indicators, we would then look at sampling methods, how to choose uh, the, right, uh, the right respondents for your study, how to ensure that you're using uh, the best fit of uh, sampling methods to ensure you have as many voices heard to ensure you have a, repre a good representation of the people you're talking to. We will then look into designing surveys using participatory methods to ensure um, wider stakeholder engagement and voice. Once data is collected, I think a, a big challenge is about managing data, ensuring data is coming in at the right time, you're getting clean data, and uh, we will be looking at dashboards and data management systems. We will also delve into uh, data analysis, data, data cleaning, using Excel for um, really ensuring you have the right data to make evidence-based decisions. Once we have you know, a theory of change, we've looked at uh, evaluation questions, the purpose of our evaluations, um, the kind of metrics we're going to collect data on, who we're going to collect data from, how we're going to collect data. I think we will be able to form some sort of a social change story for our organizations or programs. And we will learn how to communicate this social change story and impact through um, this module. Finally, I think the, the most uh, essential element of evaluation is 
utilization of findings and really making data driven decisions or evidence based decisions and we will look at how and in what forms um, can you really use the results of your evaluation to ensure it's not just a matter of proving uh, that your program works but actually improving and making uh, appropriate um, strategic changes to your program to have maximum social impact. Just a little bit of an overview on um, how we've designed this course. We would like our participants to get a good sense of impact strategy, uh, impact management and impact assessment. And um, like I mentioned, we will be looking at theory of change, indicator framework, sampling and tools to really help learners identify what their impact strategy or what their MEL um, plans should look like. We will then um, look at facets of, uh, you know, translating this knowledge of this program to your teams, your implementation teams, maybe leadership, um, and then going into, you know, what are the key components of a baseline study, what you should keep in mind, how do you uh, really move the baseline study data into dashboards, uh, when should you really check in to see if um, there have been significant changes. Um, in your baseline metrics and updating dashboards and like I mentioned data management systems. Finally, we will also look at when should you really conclude an evaluation, what should an endline study look at and uh, what should your impact report read, what do your stakeholders look for in, a, in an impact report. So I really look forward to um, your participation and uh, I hope you enjoy the course as much as we've had a really, really engaging session putting this together for you. Thank you.